Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 22H2 without a Microsoft account. For those of you who don't know, starting with the version 22H2, Microsoft will now require users to log in with a Microsoft account even from the installation process. So some of us maybe don't want that. Maybe we want to install Windows 11 22H2 with a local account. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that in two ways. The first method would be to do that from the installation process and the second way would be to slightly modify the ISO image of Windows 11 and create a USB flash drive with Rufus in order to be able to install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. So if you enjoy videos like these in which I show you certain tips and tricks about Windows 11, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before continuing with the video, I want to show you a really nice offer for a Windows 10 or Windows 11 license from keysfan.com. So this video is sponsored by keysfan.com. Keysfan offers cheap and legal OEM software keys, which are 100% genuine. This is their product page where you will be able to find nice offers regarding Office and also Windows 10 and Windows 11 licenses. So for example, they have Windows 11 Pro keys. You also have the Windows 11 professional key, which is $26 and also Office 2021 professional key. In my opinion, the best deal on their website is the Windows 10 professional key, which is only $15 because you can also use this to activate Windows 11 or you can upgrade to Windows 11 for free after you've activated your Windows 10 Pro operating system. What you need to do, you just need to click on Add to Cart and then click on View Cart. Here in the right side, click on Apply Discount Code and use the discount code TB50 for a 50% discount. And you are going to see that the final deal will be for $758, which I think this is one of the cheapest Windows 10 licenses that you can find on the market. And then you can click on Proceed to Checkout and you're going to have various different payment methods such as PayPal, credit card, and so on. Thanks to keysfan.com for sponsoring this video. You can check out keysfan.com from the links below in the description. Let's continue with the video. So as I've said, the first method would be to do that from the installation process. And of course, I skipped half of the installation process. And when you get to this, how would you like to set up this device? We're going to select setup for personal use, for example, and then click on next. And here, the installation process will require us to sign in with a Microsoft account. If we click on sign in, options as we had before we had the option to use a local account well we don't have that anymore so what we can do is to use a dummy email address that was tried on by a lot of users and i also tested it myself and it really works the email address will be no at thank you.com use this as an email and then click on next and in the password field type in whatever you want and then click on sign in you'll receive this message oops something went wrong someone has entered an incorrect password for this account too many times because a lot of people try this and the account was temporarily blocked and then if you click on next you'll see that you will be able to install windows 11 with a local account just input your name and then you can continue with the installation process use a password if you want and everything will be really really nice of course this is the first method as i've said to create a local account from the installation process but now let me show you the second method which is to create a bootable usb flash drive with an iso that is slightly modified in order for you to be able to install windows 11 22h2 without a microsoft account so as I've said in the second method, we're going to use Rufus to create a bootable USB flash drive. This is a slightly different method, but you can use what method you want and what you find to be easier. Just go into the article below in the description where you're going to have the official link to Rufus and download the latest version, which is 3.20. Click on it to download it and then open it. Of course, you are going to need the ISO for the 22H2 version. You can download it from the official Microsoft website. I showed you that numerous times. And in Rufus, select the USB flash drive. Of course, you need a USB flash drive that has at least 8 gigabytes of memory. Here on boot selection, make sure you have disk or ISO image selected. Click on select to select the ISO image. I'm going to select it myself. Partition scheme, leave it as GPT, target system UFI, file system NTFS, and volume label. You can change the volume label, which is the USB flash drive name. I'm going to put, for example, Windows 11. After you click on start, you'll be greeted with this menu, which says Windows user experience, and you can customize the Windows installation. So it automatically has checked remove requirements for secure boot ram and tpm 2.0 that is also really nice and you also have automatically checked remove requirement for an online microsoft account and you can use this to install windows 11 without a microsoft account you can also disable data collection set a local account using the same names as this users and also set regional options basically it will shorten up the installation process so you can click on ok creation of the usb flash drive will start of course not after you acknowledge that all data on this usb flash drive will be 
delete it. And of course, now the process will start. And after you will boot up from your USB flash drive, you'll be able to install Windows 11 without a Microsoft account as easy as I showed you in the previous clips. So this is how you can install Windows 11 22H2 without a Microsoft account. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget about the nice offers that keysfan.com provides. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.